Okay, Frontier, okay. You know, KND Frontier being one of those guys that really uh, carry the banner of Huarang and really just post a lot of tech on this character. They're making it a long day for iRobot. Let's see if he can close it out. Oh, oh my goodness, no, the round goes on. Blue stuff out. Okay, cool. Watch out. Oh, what? oh my oh, crush this, crush this! Oh. <laughs> that was great. Can we clip that? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. How, how may I say? Is it's the definition. He, he wrote the story of Tekken. So maybe he's going for something like Jin. The Anna Sweep. <laughs> Anna Sweep. Yes. Oh, oh the ah, best three! No, Let's go! Three. And Paiko getting in the clutch! And the hit confirmed from DF3-1 to oh, close out. Oh, my to Sandy say the least. He's most definitely feeling himself as he's making use of the plus frames properly. Dangerous run available to him. Again, let us know in chat how you feel about this old anime game with your favorite anime characters. Only from Bengeki, of course. So, of course, if there are any SAO fans out there, please comment Kirito, please. <laughs> So that someone would play Kirito. Both players in critical we'll get with the world. The oh, I'm expensive oh, trump, trump cards. Exto Mag. This guy. What, what a guy. That's very important. Now, of course, if you've been following the Gigi Fighting Climax Ignition, there is a mobile port that has been released. The Gigi Buko Fighting Climax. Uh, uh, Crossing Void. Crossing Void, yeah. yeah Crossing they Void. It's a very good mobile game Crossing featuring Void. all the characters and even new ones like Alice. Yeah. yeah. Will he blast? It's he oh, did, he blasts. But he gets punished by it. Oh, there you go. He had the meter. He's he has super. blasted. And there he you go. Just the like bracket. that. And freestyle with a reset. What? Uh, what wow, wow, he wow. knew, he knew that power Very, very fearless, coming. Mr. Reese silent with these A plus Bs. Been able to get more out of it. Oh, there it is, the side stop. And just like just that, G Ferenzu putting the G in game. Congratulations, congratulations. to G Ferenzu from winning the grand finals for the Fighting Genki Climax Bunko. Ignition. Woo, one uh, grand finals. Reese probably second guessing himself a lot there the, with the multiple first, character the switches. The first yes. set was really nice. The first set was nice, you know, bringing in the Kuroko. Then yeah. Shanna, then the Tomoka Tomoka, pick. yeah. But as you know, G Ferezu just adapts. Yeah, just adapts. He very, just very adapts clutch. really quickly. Did not let those things phase him and stop uh, the momentum of Resilent right there and then. So again, that was an amazing, amazing set from all the players who had participated. It was one of the best sets. Yeah. The thing is, let's see if AK can handle Candy Frontier's Warang. Slowly, what the oh. hell are you doing, no, oh, Billy? What the heck? Frontier! Oh, like Being in the left flamingo stance, goes for Faint the grab. Kick. FF3. Oh my goodness, what is out. Frontier eating? Look at that. Oh, trying to counter. He's gonna take Ooh, a round. A match okay. from PvE 8K. Frontier, okay. You know, KND Frontier being one of those guys that really uh, carry the banner of Huarang and really just post a lot of tech on this character. They're making it a long day for iRobot. Let's see if he can close it out. Oh, oh my goodness, no, the round goes on. Blue stuff out. Okay, cool. Watch out. Oh, Watch oh my crush god! This, crush this! Crush this! Oh! <laughs> that was great! Can we clip that? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. How, how may I say? It's, it's the definition. He, he wrote the story of Tekken. So maybe he's going for something like... Jin. The Anna Sweep. <laughs> Anna Sweep. Yes. Oh, oh the best ah, three! No, ah, Let's three. go! And Paiko getting in the clutch! And the hit confirmed from DF3-1 to close Oh my goodness! Good to Drop out to say the least. He's most definitely feeling himself as he's making use of the plus frames properly. Dangerous run available to him. Again, let us know in chat how you feel about this old anime game with your favorite anime characters. Only from Bengeki, of course. So of course, if there are any SAO fans out there, please comment Kirito, please. <laughs> So that someone would play Kirito. Both players in critical we'll gets it with the world. <laughs> oh, I'm expensive oh, with trump cards. Exto Mag. This guy. Hello. Welcome to another training arc. Swim. And yes, uh, the character trailer dropped for Victor. So if you haven't watched it, watch it. I don't know who Vincent Cassell is though, but they did a pretty good job. All I know is that when I saw the character, I thought of three things. Number one, 
Raven. Kind of gave me like Raven vibes. And then the other was Noctis. And then Metal Gear Revengeance. <laughs> because of the way the sword looks. Hello, Casey. Good evening. Have you watched the Victor trailer yet? What are your thoughts on Victor and his like three... Three? He's got like three weapons. It's a knife, a gun, and a big ass sword. Got so many, so many things. I just hope this man does not have a 12 frame gun or like a 13 frame gun. That you can just spam in neutral. Kind of anything, any projectile that you can spam in neutral. That's fast. Oh my goodness, this connection's bad. It's bad. Why am I swimming in water? The rollback frames, the MS that keeps moving all around. Knock this Raven and John Wick. <laughs> so yeah, we have the same two things except yours is John Wick while mine is Metal Gear Revengeance. <laughs> Round three. I was like Raiden, Raiden's in Tekken. Somewhat. Somewhat in Tekken. You gonna press button? No. I di oh, I ducked it. I wasn't ready though. I mean, how can you be ready when the connection's poor? Exactly, that's Raiden. French Ninja Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Old Raiden. Well, Victor's got the vibe of a man who knows he's he's always winning. Like his win poses and uh, and out and out win po intros and uh, win poses. If you if you saw his dialogue, like you're reading the subtitles, it's like huh? Man knows he's got this in the bag. <laughs> New challenger. I don't know how many sets I'm gonna play. I probably will probably just play until like 12 midnight or something like that. That's probably the plan. But yeah, the next character is when? November 12th. So at the end of... Oh, three bars. The end of the Grand Blue Fantasy Rising open beta. I... So confident he likes to trash talk. Yeah, that's how you know you got it in the bag. It's like, you? Nah. <laughs> Easy. You're, you're, you're easy, bro. You're like a warm-up, bro. Oh, no. That's right. My JFSR got better. It's like a, a 4 out of 10 compared to yesterday's 2 out of 10. <laughs> that is still... It's still an improvement. Oh, no. Skyrocket. There you go. Just for him. But yeah, how are your evenings? It all good. He's like, no, it got spoiled, babe. My Mr. Victor. <laughs> it's like, I haven't even fought the guy yet. And I'm dreading it. <laughs> what happens if he has something like Azuseno running 3-2 or running 3-1? I don't know the input. I don't think he'll have like a running move that obnoxious. But a man has a parry. So you gotta watch out for that. But parries lose to heat engagers, right? So you're good, you're fine. Heat engagers, heat bursts, heat smashes. So you wanna counter parry? Just pop in the heat. <laughs> I hate that. I just wanna be able to counter the parry normally. If I'm allowed to chicken it, which I still hope they bring in. In Tekken 8. Of course, spin comment is your guide. Feel free to ask any questions about Tekken or about Horang. And I'll get back to you uh, shortly. Because I think this Sunday I'll talk about the chops at this one. Forward 2, uh, LFS 2, and RFS 1. The chop. That's right, two of these chops go into RFF. And then one of these chops go into LFF. Interesting. Then you have like the three hit string. Except you don't have that in this. 
Well, technically, you have a two hit string, I suppose. Chop, chop is what you do. Chop, chop. Like, what do you call it? I call it the chop, chop. And then what do you call the other one? Uh, chop, kick, chop. <laughs> Nobody wants to play? I need games. Practice the execution player too. Also, Tiger Uppercut is soon. It's this weekend, right? Yeah, exciting. Last TWT. And then we go to the finals. And then Tekken 8. Man, time flies. Only a few more months left for for this game. Yeah, they really put Metal Gear in the game. <laughs> Sponsored by AFC. That's right, Raiden. Raiden likes his chicken. That's what it is. I wouldn't be surprised if there's gonna be a mod for what do you call this? For Victor. Like, make him look like Raiden from Metal Gear. Revengeance specifically. I know they already did that for Noctis in 7. And then you'll also have Colonel Sanders running around in rank. With his gun, knife, and big ass sword. Well, the next reveal is a whole 10 days from now. Which isn't that long, it's pretty much next week. Crazy. Speaking of crazy, where are the people queued in quick match? Games, games. Please. I rely on quick match more than ever now. <laughs> to get my games. I need matchmaking. Cupid, get me an opponent. <laughs> there you go. I feel like I'm gonna hate that character and Tekken 8. <laughs> The character and the system all at the same time. Then you're not gonna have a fun time with Tekken 8 if that's the case. Hola, they nerfed Askai. Eh? <laughs> that's why I'm not gonna have fun. Buff Asuka. <laughs> it's the only way for me to have fun in this game. <laughs> Second day nerf Horang. I'll be like, damn it, nerf Hor uh buff Horang. Not the not nerf. Buff. <laughs> Give me back my down 3 4. Time to be a Grand Blue player. That's what I'm gonna be. Although they changed the release date from November 30 to December 14. I think they moved it two weeks. They delayed it by two weeks. I'm okay with that. Damn, what a block. If I don't have a PC in time, I am a Grand Blue player. The question is for how long? <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, they didn't buy it. I'll take it if he didn't take a single cartwheel. FF2? 3 1? What's it gonna be? Does that still bounce? Ice. Oh my goodness. I'm dead. Make, make Asuka's parry. <laughs> We don't even know if this man's got a down 2, a Noctis down 2. If he has a Noctis down 2, oh no. A Noctis down 2, a Noctis down back 2. What happens if he has like the basic 50-50? He's like, ah, how do you play Victor? Church of Aura is what you do. Shades of Tekken 7. Modded Lilias Wendy's versus the KFC guy. Sorry, favorite fast food. Burger or chicken? Take your pick. No! <laughs> He'll have the Noctis treatment? Probably. I mean, he's got weapons. This man can play well on the three bars? I can't. Oh damn, I almost lost that. Yeah, Victor! Round four. You gonna play some Victor, my man? 
Are you feeling it? Are you feeling uh, the Metal Gear Revengeance within you? Oh, they don't know. You gotta hold forward after that. D4. Lock him in. Thank you. You will? You abandoning the whole squad? It's like, yes. It's like, no, it'll be my secondary. Is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, it's good to have a Tekken 8 original character as a secondary. They're more attuned to the system, for sure. And I just wonder how strong they're gonna make this character. Like, is he gonna be like Claudio levels? Claudio Shaheen Kazumi levels of good? Or is he just gonna be like Lucky Chloe? Nah, I get the feelings they're like pretty good. French sword and suits. I see. So if Lily had a a sword, you'd do it. <laughs> I need a good connection. Not sets with bad connections. And then after that, I hope I hope like after they release like the other characters trailer on November 12th. They released the trailers for everyone else. I still need to know what on earth are the heat engagers for all the other characters even if I don't play them. It's the anti-character knowledge I need to fill up before the game even gets released. <laughs> he wasn't feeling it? I see. Yeah. I mean, the other people here shared it up. So... Wait, it's Ra uh, Raven, Noctis, and then the number three is always different. So for another person, it was... What was it again? Ah, <laughs> oh, John Wick. There you go. The other one, it was KFC, Colonel Sanders. For me, it's uh, Raiden from Metal Gear. So what was the number three for you? Did it look like Ra uh, Raven and Noctis? I guess Negan, the three. Lars? Hmm. Oh yeah, cause anime. <laughs> he kinda anime. Need to see the Steve. I, I I get the feeling they'll fix his face anyway. Not unless he actually stays like that, then I don't know. <laughs> At least Huang looks alright, so we, we, we safe in that department. <laughs> like, we good. Ah, cause of the counter hit down back four. Because of the low. Like, ah, yes, you're Lars now. I mean, we don't know if he's gonna have the damage, though. But if Azusen has any indicator, he probably will. Round one. I do not know what this outfit is referencing. All I know is that it's five bars. So I can practice. Player 2 is always the biggest thing. The Tekken Bowling God Prime. I'm pretty sure people are gonna add the Tekken Ball Tekken Ball God Prime titles on their plates in Tekken 8. They'll be like, bro, I'm I'm really nice at this game. At Tekken Ball. <laughs> nice ooh? Oh, oh no. A good as would know how to use. I mean, it's too early to tell what makes a good player for the new characters yet. There's only so much you can tell in the closed beta test. All I know is that the character can work. That's it. It's not like, that's it kind of thing for the character. No, the character's good. That's what I know. Where's the QCF3? This is to deny the QCF3. QCF3? QCF3? Damn it, I didn't block it. Tekken Ball still has the Tekken wow. element, so it's valid. Fight. But there's no spacing in Tekken Ball, right? <laughs> what are you spacing there? I don't think John Cena will be in either. Oh, bro, you'll be surprised. <laughs> 
he might already be in the game. Like, don't you say it. Yeah, because you can't see him. Oh, he said it. Boo, he said it. <laughs> in fact, John Cena is in all fighting games because you can't see him. <laughs> Great joke, bro. <laughs> Heat engager. Oh, I'm dead. Round four. Fight. Do, 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 do. Oh, they're looking for the counter hit. So they're not really confirming it? Question mark? One, two. Try right, looking for that whiff. Whiff! Yeah! We take it. Mix up running three into another running three. But that's obvious. Down what? Down three, four. Again, the emoji's blocking the damn way. <laughs> Down 3 plus 4 in Tekken 8. Please come to the front. <laughs> What's down 3 plus 4? Ah, you mean Rage Drive? For Ho Are you talking specifically for Horang? Because if they're not a Horang player, they could still be pressing down 3 plus 4. And they, ha they have a move there. It's quick match. No, my Radmin's not open. Oh, the Rage Drive? Okay, yeah, I'll come forward. I kind of, like, pressed that twice. But, right, if you want to play, just let me know. Because I'm, I'm just after practicing my player, too. Let me just finish this set first. I pressed it when you were in heat. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, all right. I, I pressed it when I was in Ridge. It's like I got the glowy stuff. It's kind of like a blue aura. It reminded me of a Rage Drive. Let's. I uh, yeah. Let me finish this set first. Ooh. I'm getting strings. You saw the trailer, Rai? Did you see Victor? Are you gonna play some Victor? Yeah, exactly. Continue pressure with down T plus 4. It just makes sense, right? It made sense to do that. You see a 3? No. Yeah, the plus frames. It's just so ingrained into the muscle memory. It's like, yeah, I gotta press it. New main, new Noctis, but Tekken. Oh, nga, no, yeah, because his ties are not with Final Fantasy. I see, I see, I see. Fair, fair, fair. It's like, finally, I have weapons too. So, ano, Lars Victor na. <laughs> My JFSR doesn't exist again. Banco tries to bring back Round Noctis. Three. Yeah. Fight. <laughs> they have to acknowledge. Oh, wow. I was not looking at the screen. I'm going to have to read that sentence again. Because the emoji loves blocking the way. The spammable emoji. I just wish they could move. I could move that on the YouTube player, but I can't. So it does get a little annoying. Okay. The Noctis players would have to acknowledge that. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's like, we're not gonna leave you guys hanging, basically. What about Negan, though? How did that not kill? How about the Negan players? It doesn't look like he plays like Negan. Cool. Do one more set after that. Oh, okay. Well, my sets take long. Because my rule when I'm practicing is five straight. I have to win five straight games. Until I finish the set. So if I lose at, let's say, four wins, I have to repeat the whole thing. 
until I finally get five straight wins. Either five straight wins or five straight losses. So basically, the set ends when somebody gets five straight games. So it can take a while. I mean, just let me know when you're you're ready. Now, hopefully, I'm not in a set in that time. It does have a low parry from stand. Yeah, yeah. But that's not Negan. You feel me? Where's the back one plus two? Where's the shove? <laughs> See, like here, I lost the game. And my score was at one. So now it resets back to zero. Now, the only reason why I have that rule is that so I know I adjusted to my opponent. It's like, okay, I was able to win five straight. Good. So that's enough time to like for an opponent to make an adjustment. And then for you to counter said adjustment. Yeah, but the question is, is it going to be a practical move? Like back one plus two. Thing is, we don't know. It's all speculation. That's what I never liked about trailer talk. All just speculation. It's like, yeah, the character may have this, 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 that. But I'm like, you know what? You'll never know until release day. Or until you finally get to play the character. With something. I don't know why, but I'll take it. It heat dashes. <laughs> it's a heat engager. Oh no. 20 frame heat engager. UCF3. Nice. One, two. That was supposed to be a poise you just The only content is a stage OST. Yeah, the stage is basically the the boat where Xiaoyu was in in Tekken 3. I think that was like on the intro of Tekken 3. So I feel like that's a callback to that stage, in a sense. Well, it wasn't a stage you could play in, but like, it was already in the Tekken lore-ish. So it's just like, we made it a playable stage now. Which is cool. Well, technically, there was already a boat stage in Tekken. It was the one in Tekken Tag 2. Those are small stages. It may end up being, like, the smallest stage. Would it be the smallest stage? I guess it depends on, like, the height of the stage. Because width-wise, it's gonna be maybe as long as, like, a geometric plane. Maybe. But the question is, how tall is the stage? It's gonna be, like, the boss... Uh, the story mode stage in Tekken 7. That's kind of like the idea, just slightly taller than that. But I don't know if it's going to be as tall as Mishima Dojo, I don't think so. Or Arena. Those are the only comparable stages in 8. Round one. Fight. Oh, that's a punish. Is it a good punish? No, not necessarily. He's alright, I suppose. Because the boat moves, so the technology is still there. <laughs> it's an infinite stage, guys. And then the background just a parallax. Woo! Woo! I'm so good. Round two. Fight. I mean, Jun's stage is already infinite enough. Who's hitting the walls there? I don't think anyone hit the walls there ever in the closed network test or the beta. Like, at all. Sorry, borrowing some concepts from Tekken 8 already. Throwing out RFF forward 3 at, like, range 3. The final round? Yeah! Where's my final round OST? UCF3, UCF3, UCF3. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, I'll 
one plus one hundred. <laughs> the June stage, it's huge, huge. And it's probably the tag two size for the boat. Just a slightly bigger boat. So if you really want to like be aggressive versus your opponent, select the boat stage. It's like, hey, there's no escaping the pressure anymore this time. You can't even sidestep as much. <laughs> the new meta. Pick the smaller stage, not, not Yakushima. UCF3. Come on! UCF3! Oh. oh, I'm dead. But I hate it. How, you hate how it sounds, really? You don't. You dislike the OST and the no? In Yakushima? Interesting. They know. Okay. Where's my punish? Ah, I'm somehow playing worse than yesterday. I was already playing better yesterday, and then now I'm playing like trash again. Galing. Consistency. Oh, let me just finish this set. Not really, it's not the best one. What's the best one so far for you? Is it Sanctum? Dun 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 <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> Yeah, so you can warm up, right? If you just booted it up. Early? No, I'm on time. I wouldn't say I'm early. I'm just on time. Ooh. Ah, Urban and Rebel Hanger. I'm trying to remember the o OSD. Hold on. Oh, yeah, the Pac Man inspired. <laughs> Rebel Hanger. Okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it. And now Paris. Paris. Any reactions about Victor? It's uh, Raven, Noctis, and uh, Raiden from Metal Gear Revengeance. At least that's what I think. So for other people here, they said uh, KFC, Colonel Sanders, and John Wick. <laughs> and then Negan. What about you, Eric? Same, same. Or different. Looks like an older Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. Oh, okay. With the DF2 into another DF2, tried and true method to get a to get a free launch. Works every time, guys. Gonna get a launch DF2 into DF2. Oop. UCF3? No. I feel like my punishment. No, I feel like a lot of my decision making is late. Sama Kunimitsu with the daggers. No, I, I feel like they're gonna bring that character back for sure. I'm Steve Fox. Okay, at least I didn't get skyrocket. Yeah, exactly. DF2 into DF2. Yeah, you can do that with Asuka. You're, you're, you have the fastest recovering DF2 in the whole game. So it's gonna be hard for somebody to launch punish you. Just pure assassin badass. Yeah, with a big ass sword. I got hit? Huh. It's okay. It's not like you're gonna improve the day after, like immediately. There are always ups and downs. It's a roller coaster ride. When you're trying to get good. 
At least the one that's stabilizing his movement. It's just that <laughs> decision making ham hampered again. I move and I'm like, oh right, I'm supposed to punish that thing. What do I punish it with? Oh, shut. Yeah, but next character, November 12. Like, I saw the, the trailer right before I streamed, so I watched it prior to streaming. I was like, neat. Only watched it once, so I didn't get, go, get to go over like other details that I may have missed. I was holding back though, what? They risked it all. It might give you of how good it is. Yeah, once you, once you get to hear it. There you go. Backdash into a whiff punish. Ah. We still gotten some of Noctis in Tekken 8. True. Some of Negan too. In a sense. Okay. I don't get it. I'm holding back. The drop seems underwhelming. Now, to me, it was alright. Yeah, it's that, see, that's the thing. It's just alright. It needs to be a banger, okay? <laughs> I need all my Tekken stages to be bangers. <laughs> I would prefer an office in Negan every day instead. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone would be in the same agreement. Why would I have to fight 2D all the time? Finally. Yeah, there's some there's some Negan in him. Oh flames in my ears. <laughs> it needs to be billboard top 100 hits only. For for a fighting video game. Only. No more warp strike? Yeah. And then Kunimitsu comes back and he's like, hey, you missed my QCF1. It's back. <laughs> Full screen with punishment. The full thing. I got hit by the full thing. Bro. <laughs> it's okay. Don't sweat it from the your training. If anything, you're giving this Nina hope. You're helping them out here. They too can become a Tekken God Omega because they can beat a Tekken God Omega. Again, it's just a shiny PNG at the end of the day. It is achievable. Full screen move, heat engager. What's wall splat? I'll take away heat engager. Just full screen and wall splat's good enough. It being a heat engager is gonna hurt its value. QCF1 just wall splats from full screen. Oh, uh, well, I mean, so far they've been hitting, right? So far. Fight. So you can trust the sources a little bit. But still, everything remains unknown until, what do you call this? Until officially announced. There you go, I was looking for those words. Mm. Bruh. I'm pressing. I'm saying frames are a state of mind there. Getting caught by the mid. Okay. Surprise? They don't bite. In the wa in the water marker. We <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's funny. Fight. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone was really anticipating that. It was just like, yeah, we, Devil Jin has like full control ish of his Jin dev Devil powers, right? 
So it's just like, okay, and then they saw some of the devil moves already, or like devil influence in his moveset. So it's like, okay, no more devil Jin. And then devil Jin still in. All right. Up to this day, I still cannot imagine what his heat engagers will be. Or tail, or his like combo extenders. No idea. I'm just gonna get surprised come release day or the trailer. Finally got backlash on player two. And I dropped the combo. That's how you get it. We need more Mishimas. We do? <laughs> Well, the most number of Mishimas we've had in a game was how many? Five? I'm, I'm thinking Tekken Tag 2. Oh no, it's more than five. Jin? Uh, wait, you don't count Jin as a Mishima. Kazuya, Haihachi, Devil Jin, Angel, Jimpachi. Ah, uh, yeah, five. Yeah, five, five. Five Mishimas in a game. No more character specific trailers for the side. <laughs> yeah, they, cause they're side characters, bro. They're not. They're not important. In tag one, how many Mishimas did they have? Jin, Kazuya, Devil, Angel, four. Oh, okay, so Tekken Tag three will have the most Mishimas. Round one. Fight. Nah, they could do them dirty, bro. They've been doing them dirty for a while. <laughs> Question is when. Ayachi is DLC, we'll see. And then he's like, what's his purpose in the story? Flashback purposes only. It's like Kazumi in Tekken 7. What is your purpose? Flashbacks. That is all. He'll come out. Oh, he oh he's gonna be a separate entity? Are you... It's gonna be like Soul Calibur. He's gonna come out of like Siegfried, and then there you go, there's Nightmare. And then he's gonna use like Soul Edge as his, I don't know, way to manifest in the world. Devil Jin is just gonna like manifest out of pure evil. With the drip, evil drip. <laughs> He'll also have the most Taekwondos, really? How? It's literally just Huang and Beck, right? There's been no other Taekwondo character. Shua! Now, the only way for that to happen is that the character appears in Tekken 8. Tag 2 is now canon. That's why he used Jin and Devil <laughs> That's right, unknown is real too. Marketing? Yeah. Goodbye. No, okay, I'm I'm a trash Omega player. They're like, nah, I don't wanna fight you no more. I'm too good. It's time for me to hit rank. I hope that Nina goes to rank. They believe in themselves. They're like, I'm gonna get myself a shiny PNG. Alright, Rai. Let me turn on my Radmin. You're gonna you're gonna be playing against a different frontier, alright? So, <laughs> you're gonna be like, why is everything so easy? Because I'm trash, that's why. <laughs> My player 2 needs so much work. What do you mean? I'm a no, they're, they're gonna do it. They're gonna believe. They're, gonna, they're not gonna be a Fujin Nina by the next time I see them. Next time I see them, Tekken God. Tekken God Nina. Ah, no, okay, no problem. I'll just chill here. I mean, if they add the Taekwondo girl for ta tag three, then it's just three Taekwondo characters. I don't know. It's not. <laughs> You're gonna have to bet. You have to cut one of them. It's like which, which, which out of the three am I gonna use together? Yeah, Josie. That one should be DLC, maybe. Damn, this guy really does Huang lessons. He should probably listen to his own Huang lessons, bro, because he's trash. <laughs> Man, I was just I was playing so well yesterday. I don't get what happened. But hey, again, it's a roller coaster, ups and downs. So I have a down already. Now it's about how do I figure out how to make it go back up.
you know, the movie, the Pixar movie. <laughs> Mama, mama. I don't know, sometimes I'm thinking like, you know, I should take out my IG and that way when they fight, they're just like, yeah, it's just an Omega Horror. <laughs> they don't mind the the name. Yeah, I watch my I I have actually watched some of my videos already. I'm like, what do you do in this situation again? Or like, did I miss anything out? And like I'd be let's say I'd be labbing a move or like trying to remember something in practice mode, and I'm like, you know what? I covered this before. So I'm either gonna go to my 50 plus page guide. Or the tracking document, or one of the videos from Open Horang Lessons. I usually go there. I'm like, ah, okay, that that's the one. Okay, okay. Thank you, myself. Pats myself on the back. <laughs> it changes all the time. I see. He's like, I'll never know who this man is. But once the nickname is put, it's just like you will forever be known, regardless of what cap you change or like what cap you wear. I don't know, I only have like other like two or three other names I use. And then I change the PFP as well. But I rarely do that. I kinda just like, nah, just keep it on frontier, who cares? <laughs> No, some some people will notice it, not all. Like most especially if you put let's say your profile your Steam profile on private, then very few people will know. It's only like your friend people in your friends list. Everyone else, they'll never know. <laughs> and if you clear your aliases all the time, they'd just be like, uh, let's say the name is Cheese. Then it's just always cheese. And then it's always a cheese PFP, then it's always just that. And then you swap it to another piece of food. I don't know. Beef. <laughs> and then beef PFP. And then you clear your aliases. It's like, they'll never know. And they're, and they're not friends with you on Steam. It's gonna be a secret forever. They're just like, yeah, I fought this player who has food in their name and picture. They also play the same characters like this other player. And they're like, they're gonna try to connect the dots. Isn't that the same player? Like, no, you can't tell because you can't verify anything. You just have like evidence that may suggest it. That's all. But it's not foolproof. Yeah, exactly. From cheese to butter. Then you go to milk and then eggs or whatever. Yeah, play different games as well. <laughs> if you want to keep it like that, I don't know. Like, you, you know, if, yeah, if you're public. But you can just make it private. Save yourself the trouble. So right, the set ends when anyone gets five straight wins, alright? I don't want to play Mortal Kombat. I'm I'm okay with the franchise, but I got scarred for life because of it. So I don't play Mortal Kombat anymore. Last Mortal Kombat game I played was Shaolin Monks, and that was like when I was a kid. Street Fighter 6, it's so expensive. <laughs> Plus, I know how I play in 2D. I wouldn't do well. Since I, mo since most especially, I don't put in the effort to like lab it as much as Tekken. So I don't give it the same care and attention. That's usually my downfall when playing other games that are not Tekken. Oh, that's 14. I'm late. From playing PF2 for a thousand hours, filling up the front page. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, you're playing Sim Street Fighter 6. What rank you at? Are you part of the 0.0% group of people with an amazing shiny PNG? Round two. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so the meta killed you. <laughs> His character was too strong. I didn't want to play the game no more. Now for me, it was just the the theme and the the gore, and it was like PS1 days. So like Mortal Kombat One, I think the one that was in like arcades and released on the P PlayStation One. 
Like, right, you know the continue screen, right? You're falling in a pit of spikes. I let that play out as a kid, and then I watched my character die, and I was like, oh my goodness, I got scarred. Literally ran to the CR crying. That's why I don't... That's, <laughs> that's why I kind of, like, avoided it. I can watch it. Like, let's say the movie. I watched both. Is it both movies? Or I don't know how many movies they had. But I remember watching an, uh, an MK movie. And then I played Shaolin Monks. But I only played that because that was co-op. <laughs> I could play with a friend. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. Because <laughs> I can't do it alone. Platinum 1, Jamie. There we go. That's the rank before Master, right? Nice, I'm getting blocks. Why bring a son? Because that gives you a major advantage in a in a in a fist fight. All the other people who are there don't have a gun. Oh, it's the rank before diamond. Okay, okay, okay. So you're two ranks away from master then. Oh, that's not bad. Pretty good. I doubt I'd hit that rank. <laughs> I'm gonna get stopped by something eventually. Because Lamao. Exactly. Yoshimitsu. Yeah, he has a gun, bro. You start beating him up, he's gonna pull out the gun. He's like, what are you gonna do? Huh? You may have been beating my butt, but I'm not out of options. Can't touch me. Try touching me. <laughs> if that was if he was against Hayahachi, Hayahachi's gonna be like, do it, pull the trigger. He's gonna catch the bullet with his mouth again. Like in Tekken 6. What do you mean 10 stars away? If it's platinum diamond the master, then you're you're fine. It's like the middle one, right? The middle of the pack are close to it already. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Because you're already in Platinum. That's why you're fine. You are okay. Yeah? D again. Alright, I, I see, I know I get, yeah. This is gonna be like my main focus for this stream. Making my decision making a little bit faster. I'm slowing it down too much. Just because I'm not operating fast enough. Woo! It's like the Fujin of Tekken, which is a good spot in Tekken. Most especially when it wasn't like the game you played mainly. That means, oh, okay, that means, oh, okay, that means I'm not playing Jamie if I play Street Fighter 6. Because I don't, I don't, I don't use the horn equivalents. Or the, 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 the Taekwondo reps. In other fighting games. Ever. Surprise. Perfect. That means Jamie's off the list. Then again, I was only going to play probably like Ryu. Or Luke. Even. Down back four. Still catching me in this matchup. What do you mean he's niche? <laughs> this is the third most played character in the close network test, okay? He ain't niche. Yeah, he's gonna be broken for how long, right? It's him and JP. How long will they remain top tier? I also can't play top tier, so that's not an option. I was never able to fully embrace the dark side. Because if I could, I'd be playing Akuma. 
What do you mean is that better? I'm talking about the Tekken 8 closed network test. Horang was the third most played character. So he cannot Jamie cannot be as niche as Horang because a lot of people play the character. And I think in the Tekken 7 usage uh usage rating, he's like in the top ten of characters played. I like how he's so high up there, but I just don't meet Horang whatsoever most of the time. So wonder how I'm good at Horang mirrors. <laughs> if I don't get to encounter my own character often. Yeah, I know, that'd be a sight. I did, and that was like the hardest Fujin I ha ever had to achieve. Oh, Jamie's most played also? Then he cannot. They, then then he, they can't be niche. They're popular characters at that point. Right, it's supposed to be a back three. Whatever, we work with it. The whoa feeling. I need the mix-ups. I need it now. Give me the mix. Oh! One, two. DF4. I feel like I'm playing like a different player again. Who am I? Who am I? I'm gonna do what Negan says in Tekken 7. Who are you? Yeah, who am I? Man, that, that random freeze. <laughs> Spring kick. I wanted to stand switch. Did you press a button? No, you did not. In the motherland. Only two? There's only two of you? Okay, that's fair to say it's niche then. There's only two of you. Damn. That's right, I don't duck that no more. I'm dead. I'm alive. No! Oh. Yes! That's on you! <laughs> that was your round! I robbed it. Robbery. The Yu Gi Oh card. Grave robbery. It's a trap card, right? I don't remember. I don't play new Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. There you go. One, two, three. Okay, I'll be playing another fighting game anyway. <laughs> Soon. Literally next week I'm playing another fighting game. I just don't know how many times I'll stream it. You want your 50-50, huh? Great. It also gives a KOF feel. Alright, all the more I'm not gonna play him. <laughs> and he's a record character, all the more I'm not playing him. <laughs> I don't want I don't want those mind games. Get ready for the next battle. I learned my lesson from playing a Rekka character. I can't do those mind games. I need solid frames to work with. And a normal that actually hits the opponent. <laughs> and does its job. But then it's like, no, you gotta press the string. Not me driving. No, it's okay. I don't play Horang equivalent. Round one. He's locked too. I guess that's no wonder why he gives the Horang, the Horang vibe. It's like you gotta be in a stance. Yeah, cause you have to drink, right? So in that sense, he's like, what's his name? Sin, from Guilty Gear.
Imagine if Claudio's whole moveset was like locked out if he didn't have Starburst. Crazy, right? I wonder when they did that. I don't know, maybe from season 1 all the way up to season 3. Until they said, hey, give him his Starburst moves. Even if he doesn't have Starburst. Oh, okay, I don't know that character. Why do I keep getting hit by that? My man's not even pressing lows! I'm doing it to myself. Just so like, yeah, I'm gonna block the mix-up when, you know, no other option has been shown. Should have followed it up with another chop. You hit him with a chop, hit him with another chop. That's how it should be. If not a chop, a kick. That was a waste. Woo! Alright. Damn it. The least damage with zero drinks, that's kind of like expected. You have to really build it up. Yeah, so he's also a character that like builds up over time. All the more it's a character I won't play. I need it to be instant. Like, okay, you have the things that you need to work with immediately. Rather than like, okay, I, I'm now strong. <laughs> I don't have the patience. <laughs> Because I'm already bad at 2D games, all the more I'm like, <sighs> I'm weak. <laughs> I didn't even get to like make my my character stronger yet. So like, if the character has an install mechanic of any kind, I'm like, nope, can't be. I can't play that character. If I do, it's gonna be criminally suboptimal. I mean, I'm already a suboptimal 2D player, so what's more? Oh. The best part is that you drink in neutral, still. It's alright, I'm never gonna play Street Fighter 6 anyway. <laughs> I can watch it, that's, that's enough. Watching competitive Street Fighter. That's good enough for me. The mental stack is when you drink in neutral, yeah. It's like, can I catch them or not? Is the Jamie getting a free bonus or not? And I deny them a drink. It reminds me of another... It's, it's like a Street Fighter 4 character, right? Wherein they poured a drink over themselves, or it was like oil or whatever. Uh-huh. Oh, that's right. You're not supposed to flip. This is in Tekken 8. I was so tempted to, like, press back 3. commented a Street Fighter 5 tournament, uh-huh. And I didn't know anything, so I played Street Fighter 6. <laughs> Wait, what? So you commented the tournament? Commentated the tournament? But you didn't know anything, so you stu you didn't commentate it instead? And just played Street Fighter 6? Or just like, since I didn't know anything, I went out to learn. So, not Street Fighter 5, I learned the Street Fighter 6. Oops. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to chalk up today to like, be the low for today. Maybe next week it's like, I go back up. 
Ooh, player one gaming. I'm dead. The latter part. Okay, okay, okay. I went out and learned some Street Fighter 6. To make up for not knowing anything in Street Fighter 5. Rai, don't be surprised if this set finishes early. Get ready for the next and I'm gonna ask you, see? Different player, right? <laughs> Completely different player. It's like, this is not exactly what I remember playing. Nor watching. <laughs> it's like, who are you? Not Frontier. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like tempted to change my name to like, Player playing on player two, or just player two, and then change the PFP to player two, like right side, the right Mokujin. Fight. <laughs> that way, everyone I'm fighting is informed I'm playing on player two. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm a player two enjoyer. They've been looking for you since that Street Fighter 5 tournament. It's like, hey, you you know some Street Fighter 6 stuff now, right? Bet. Let's 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 do it. Let's do it. It's time to redeem. <laughs> Stop! Oh my god. Rush down. See, I'm not the rush down character. You are. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bro, give me some space. Late. Surprise? Nah. There you go. At least I'm getting the whiff punishes. So far. You having dinner right now? Have a great dinner, Eric. Let's do it, but I'm in another car. <laughs> Proceeds to stay awake for a long time in order to make the time zones work. It's the only way. That's time zones for you. Oops. Bam. Nah. Down back four every single time. Damn, you're already at three. Two more games. And then you won the set. So if you want to swap to Noctis, feel free to. And then after that, I'll go back to quick match. Now, unless anyone else wants a, a discount player 2 Horang experience. <laughs> it's like, alright, I'm going to get the, play the Ho Horang experience. And then it's just like... What happened? You're not doing your thing. Because again, I'm practicing, okay? It's practice, practice. You really out here being a victor, man? Yeah, you really got the outfit too. You wanna try and knock this too? Alright. Well, get your five straight first. Because I'm gonna try to like deny it. Because I need to make sure my player 2 is working. I did it again! That's right, power kick as your launch punish. <laughs> Decision making is all late by a second. I'm so slow. And I'm doing so many DF1s, it reminds me of like my Tag 2 gameplay. Not that I wasn't doing more DF1s like when I tried to get Omega. It's so, like the, the new playstyle I kind of implemented. But this is like very Tag 2-ish. It's so basic. It just has a wave dash, I suppose. It's like, woo! look at this movement, movement. While standing here, where are you? 
while you still exist, of course. I mean, while you're still, what do you call this? Round three. Safe. <laughs> Fight. Because you're unsafe in Tekken 8. It be. Okay. I blocked the second hit. Why? We. Okay. I'm fine. I'm not fine. Press? No, it pressed 10 frame. I was gonna squeeze in at negative 3. 13 frame, 2 F4. Apparently, that's a bad idea. Back 1 plus 2? Oh, not back 1 plus 2. D down back 1 plus 2. The evasive move. Oh, I'm a player one. Let's go. Re proceeds to repeat the same things I was doing earlier. <laughs> All right, makes a whole different. Feels so comfortable there. But gotta go back to practicing with the side. You really need to practice. Back one. Finally, a neutral hop. That's the wall, and that's some damage. Ooh, oh! How... If I somehow lose this, I swear. Okay. I choke. Drop the combo. I stand switched. No. Oh no, I wanted this. Did I want the stand switch? It was a wall splat, sidestep. What if I want to get? Sidestep DF4? Then why would you press a 3 plus here? Was I thinking sidestep RF4 with 3 LF is back 3? Hmm. Can't really pinpoint it anymore. I just know that I pressed 3 plus 4 during a sidestep. Nah, you can, bro. There are other players have done it to me already. On my player too. It just takes patience. You gotta really see like how to build up your gameplay and take note of the game state. So it's good practice for like information gathering and trying to see where your reads are. So it's it's basically what do you call it? It's long set gaming. How good are you at a long set? And if not, how good are you at the long set? It's like, are you able to adjust and identify what your opponent is doing? Because the faster you can adjust to it, the faster you deny their win streak. I'll take it. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. I'm gonna end up at the wall. Yeah, exactly. One standing three! Execution is very sus. Damn, that really caught me? Crazy. That was supposed to be Rage Art. Instead of FF3 down to plus 4. Seed in second eight, my right side is also gonna be weak if I'm unable to like get it good in seven. Step that. Final round. Fight. 
Stop. What am I doing? There's no mix. Oh, I'm dead. How do I address, how do I address the slow decision making? How do I make that fast? Hmm. I guess the fastest way to make it faster is to make it the simplest decision. So instead of thinking whether I should do a 4-3 punish or not, it's probably I should just change it to a 1-2 punish every single time. Or keep it consistently as a 4-3 punish every single time. Off a sidestep or like off a backdash or like punishing something. And then a low should always just be like while standing 4-4. Four, four. So I, yeah, okay, for, the first step is probably just keeping everything consistent so that your decision making gets faster. That way you don't have to worry about it. Hmm. That means on launch punishable lows. Do I even up back 3-3? Three, three? Or do I just keep it while standing 3? Okay, and then we cut out JFSR because I can't use it. Which is what I did yesterday. In the later parts of the set, I was attempting to throw out JFSR from time to time because it was the only missing piece. Well, the main missing piece. Because I had opponents who were not ducking. I know, who were ducking, but I couldn't really make them punch. I couldn't punish them hard for it. And JFSR is the only way to do so. Well, the safest way to do so. Let's put it that way. Obvious. Oh. That's a player one reaction though, it's not a player two reaction. Yeah, execution's the least of my worries. It's the comfortability to press those buttons. Question of like how long we're we gonna keep going back and forth. Also, oh, if you can't make it to five, right? It's fine. Like if you have to go by like I don't know eleven thirty or whatever time, it's all right. Because we might there there's a chance we could not make it to five, right? <laughs> that that is a possibility. Wait a minute, if you're dressed up as Victor, where's your gun? And where's your sword? Didn't put it. You could have easily given yourself a knife. And a sword. Where's the stand up? <laughs> Leave wins. <laughs> kind of. Round four. 
fight. That reaches? Of course. What do you mean you can catch opponents while stepping? <laughs> You're Horang, bro. Same thing's the same as 8. I've had my F1 plus 2 lose after while standing 4-4. Four, four. So I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm not really locking you in with a mid. It be. Only way I can do that is DST plus 4, but I'm not about to throw something that's unsafe. And if they only allowed you to do like the first two hits of DS3 plus 4 in Tekken 8, that'd be good. Crazy. No. Right? Hello? What happened? I was not told anything. Huh. Something happened. Why are you still here? They're just like, no, you won. All right. <laughs> Do I make another one? What's happening? I didn't get a. I didn't get. A Steam message. Oh, there you go. I did. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. That's the thing when you're in invisible. I cannot. I cannot see anything. Okay. Okay. DC again? No. 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 Yeah, so if you if you put your your chat on a, uh, your Steam on invisible, you will not get any notifications on Steam chat. No, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Right side. To the King of Iron Fist Tournament Seven. Wow, Rang. Oh, we're swapping to knock this. Okay. I mean, your choice. He's also got the same color scheme. He's really ready for now for Victor. What? But what? Late. My decision making again is a full second before I have to make one. Uh, no, not before I have to wake them, before I even make one. What happened to yesterday's gameplay? Because my man, you can mean anything by like, qu qu thoughts, question mark. Do you mean Victor? Do you mean Horang? Do you mean what? No, we don't know if they're from KFC. 
Round three. <laughs> Basically, it's Raven, Noctis, and Raiden from Metal Gear Revengeance. That's all. I don't know, I only look I only watched the trailer once. Beyond that I didn't watch it to like find any fine details. But hey, he's, he's got lore with Raven, so he got big ass sword, yeah. I don't know, I'm kind of neutral for the most part. I'm just like, eh, okay. That's Victor. Cool. The boat stage is cool. Basically another tag two boat stage. Just prettier? Yeah, prettier. More pleasing to the eye. <laughs> You thought it was a rifle? Fair. Round one. Fight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be like easy to play. That's how all that's how all new characters will be for the most part. So what happens if you're better with Victor compared to Horang? What are you gonna do? He's like, alright boys. I'm gonna leave the Horang army now. Victor just he just he just better, bro. <laughs> he just better. For legal reasons, it's a joke. Yes. Yeah, it means like a secondary, right? For the certain people, you're just like, yeah, just in case. <laughs> but I don't think you'll find any of them here, so. You don't have to worry about that. Get ready for the next battle, 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 battle. I'm streaming. I'm talking well. What do you mean me? <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Fight. If Horang pans out, Horang pans out. That's all it is for me. If he don't, he don't. Oh, Idol. Hello, Nate. That was late. Hey, you got nothing to worry about. Punishing Aura with back three? Nah, it's lucky. I usually don't risk it. 
even if they've reduced the pushback and increased like the range of back three. It's just that if I have the idea it's a short block and I'm within range, I do it. But most of the time I don't risk it. I just have to really eyeball it properly that, oh yes, it was, what do you call this? Close. Because for Death Fist, I only do it when it's like really at the wall, including for like Haihachi FF2. Of course, the Steve Fox. One's gotta stop saving me. I need more player two gameplay. That's when you do a frame perfect peacekeeper. You will have a punish for it if you always do a frame perfect peacekeeper. But you have to practice that, that's the thing. I remember at one point I was trying to invest in like a frame perfect peacekeeper. But nah. <laughs> it was too much of a task to do. Like as soon as you were you, you recovered, you gotta hold forward and then press another forward. Because the error you could get there is F4 and then it's just like you're gonna get wave punished. And then you're dead. Or you try to save yourself by doing RF as F4, RF as back 4, and then you get punished for those two things. It is what it is. Oh yeah, Nate, are you gonna play some Victor if you've watched the trailer yet? If you haven't watched it, watch it. He's like, nah, I saw it! But a horang parin all the way. <laughs> now we're back to you. Wang is life, there we go. But Victor cool, are you gonna try out Victor? Oh no, it's the Dragon Ball again. We got the Ultra Instinct Lars. Woo, I like that. That was good spacing. You play him, but Horang life. Fan of uh, Victor's better than Horang. Fan and bro. It's like the no choice. I will have to make the switch. Alright, plus one. Oh, okay, but. 12. Ah, yeah, 12 frame DF1. For fun and combos. It's, it's a practice mode character. <laughs> I'm gonna boot up practice mode and have fun. Maybe a quick match and then that's it. <laughs> Ooh, fox step. Ooh, that could have been the down back four. And I would have been in danger. Damn, that reaches that far, huh? Yeah, he got the parry. Oh wait, no, you're talking about the parry I did? Oh, I just threw that out. I risked it all. Oh yeah, by the way, right, the five straight is per character, huh? Like a set for the character. 
So the two wins from Noctis does not carry over to the two wins to Lars. So technically, I only have one win right now. It's not five. Uh, not three. Because in quick match, right, you can't change characters, so I, I follow that. So currently, the count is not three wins straight, it's one win straight. I think I'm playing until 12 midnight, but I don't know if I'll ex go longer than that. I'm not gonna get there anyway. Nah, I gotta believe, right? Come on, mental is half the battle. It's half the battle. Even when you're getting discouraged, you still gotta have a shred of hope. Victor's kind of DLC-worthy character. Oh yeah, I guess so. But Azucena ain't. He's like, nah, Azucena also. They both. Oh. Where are the horror moves that hit Shao Yu in stance? While standing 4-4. Is your best friend in that matchup. And then down back four as well is your best friend. But it's probably the fastest low you can throw out most of the time. I'd like to say DF4, but DF4 only if you catch Xiaoyu early. Because if Xiaoyu's already in AOP, you're not gonna you're gonna lose to AOP down. Where she does AOP and then ducks a bit in AOP, you're gonna lose. But oh, that was a bigger punish. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, yeah, I deserve that. So DF4 is technically like your most reliable thing, but if they do AOP down, or if you're late on your reaction when they transition to AOP, it's over. While you're spacing out while standing 4-4, it's always gonna be your best friend. You can even include some RFF FF3 if you want, like moving back and forth, and then RFF FF3 from a far range. RFF DF3, I think, hits AOP, but not AOP down. While standing 3 should hit AOP. But you'll be pressing while standing 4 more than that. So yeah, your arsenal is like very limited. In regards to like hitting Xiaoyu. Like, I do, I do say down back 4, but for the most part, you can use all the lows to hit out of AOP. RFS back 3 should hit AOP. Now unless it she steps in between. Which again, there's an inbuilt SSR. So there's a chance, what do you call this? RFS back 3 could lose right after, let's say, down 3-4. New characters equals DLC. So by that account, in Tekken 6, Miguel, Leo, Zafina, etc. are all DLC characters. Tekken 5... Feng, Asuka are DLC characters, including Lily and uh, Dragonov. Tekken 6, Bloodline Rebellion, Lars and Elisa are their DLC characters. <laughs> I look away, Goku on screen. Yeah, it's Goku. Trying to go alter instinct, that's what it is. Are they crazy with these new characters? I mean, look at the way they went with Leroy, Fakumram, and Lydia, and Kunimitsu. That should give you an idea of how they're moving. Yeah, so again, the Xiaoyu matchup cooler, you have to like be very patient. Not unless the Xiaoyu isn't AOPing a lot of the stuff, then you're fine. But even if they're not AOPing a lot of the stuff, you have to like watch out for back one because back one interrupts a lot of your pressure. You can keep out, you can also go aggro. It just depends on like how the Xiaoyu is reacting and if you have like their number. By number, like you have a good read on them. 
Because when you start focusing on more, like, let's say, more keep out defense slash whiff punishment, you leave the floor open for them to do whatever they want. So you're really on a reactionary kind of state. And makes it harder to catch Ling. And just make sure you don't get pushed over towards the wall as much. So, like, try to protect your space at all costs. Is drag? I don't know, Eric. I, I, you can check the wiki. Type it in Google. Is this canon? And then you're going to get, like, a Reddit thread where people are discussing it. Like, I, for the most part, like, focus a lot more on neutral slash defense when I'm playing against Ling. But if I know the Ling is only relying on AOP to get out of a lot of stuff, and they don't really have, let's say, Horang defense, I will go aggro. It also depends on how well they can use AOP. So you have to watch out for like... Basically judge for yourself. Are you dying a lot versus AOP or not? If the answer isn't, then you can probably stay in in close quarters a lot more rather than waiting but you still need to chip so that's why down back 4 could help you or down back 3 oopsie like don't leave Xiaoyu to like take control of the game state as much as she will kind of like control it the final round OST is already in the trailer oh really? Bro, I checked the throw that I was so far from. We have the color scheme. Ah. Ah versus Raven. Okay. So, is it is it fire? Ah, before before you took a break. He's like, look at my look. It's beautiful. Bro! The wall carry. It's blazing. Where's the word before blazing? He's like, I can't type that. <laughs> you can put an asterisk. Just like the way Tekken 7, what do you call that? Censors the words. The wall carries stupidly long. That's Lars for you. Honestly, that's a typical playstyle for horror. But it is effective. EDM plus jazz. There you go. It's something I need. It's fire indeed for for silent. For Sakal. Bam. Bam. Okay. Okay. D4. Press. No, we want to press. At least I'm not getting hit by a blue bolt. I'll take that. Would have died there. It's negative 14. Mm -hmm. I wasted it. I wasted my frame. Round two. Fight. Could have been mine. I'm dying. That's a problem with too much honesty. If you're not defending your space. Yeah, he has I-14. Is it on loop right now for you? <laughs> It's like, I'm gonna listen to this music all day. All day, every day. Woo! Should have just pressed the button. 
Okay, I'm I was too honest there. I was like an ultra hard, what do you call that, computer in Tekken 7. Excuse me. Just taking a sip out of top tier water. I wonder if that's gonna be the same thing like Tekken 8. The difficulty of the ultra hard CPU. You've had it on loop for an hour? Damn. With sound effects? Oh, you mean me, right? I'm the sound effects. It's like you're ruining the vibe. Mute stream. <laughs> I'll just watch the gameplay with my music. Real. <laughs> ah, the trailer sounds. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. oh, I'm on player one again. The side I'm too comfortable in. I already checked it. It's been one hour. I've listened to fire for one hour. Now, yeah, we make it two now. It's been two hours. Nah, it's too obvious. Deserve. Okay. Thank you. My new practice mode stage. The the the. Wait, but it's gonna be a jute box, right? In Tekken 8. So technically, you don't need to be in the boat to have that music. You can put that music anywhere. Yeah, exactly, right? There's a juke box. It always needs to have Moonsiders first. Always. I can't practice without it. Exactly, they put it back. Rip Yakushima. It's okay, it's gonna get j Jazz plus EDM, right? It's, it's gonna get elevated for you. Me, I'm gonna stay with the music for a while, and then I'm gonna mute all the music. And play without any BGM. Just like how I'm doing now. I'm not playing with any BGM whatsoever. I think I've been, it was doing this since like season 2. It's only when like the new stages come out, like Vermilion Gates. That's the only time I listen to it for a while and then I turn off the music again. Yeah, the Steam version didn't have it. So like if you wanted to add Jukebox on Steam, you had to like mod it in. But the easiest way to jute box on Steam was to, what do you call this? Just play the music by yourself. <laughs> Makeshift jute box. I keep falling for that. There's no mix. <laughs> and I'm doing it to myself every single time. I don't blame Rai for be like continuously going for it. He's just like, bro, it's working. Uh, yeah, exactly, manual mode. No, yeah, they are truly unsung heroes. Character select. <laughs> like I know what stages I'm picking. Yeah, you're gonna turn turn the you're gonna turn all the all the stay all the stuff in Tekken to that song. Like all of it has to be that. You're gonna put the Sanctum music in Paris. <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Ah. 
Oh, it stays as. Okay. For you, it stays as. Except Urban and Rebel. Yeah, those stay. I love those. <laughs> Everything else, nah. They gotta go. Ah. Round two. Fight. And again, it's ups and downs, Frontier. Don't worry about it. Just focus on the thing you need to practice, which is accelerating your decision making. Because that's the one thing that's holding you back the most right now. Okay, I'll take it. Sure, why not? So far. Four or three. Yeah, it's actually a pretty solid tool to use. Where's my FF3? Round four. Fight. Ah, uh, obvious. Makes every mellow down OSD. Are you gonna make everything lo fi? It's like, okay, I'm gonna get every single stage OSD from Tekken 8, but lo fi. Second lounge, Parry. <laughs> Every single one. It's like the only song I'm gonna hear when I boot up the game. Real! <laughs> Guys, there are other soundtracks in the game. Come on! He's like, no, we don't need variety. What we need is specialty. And it's the, the song from Parry. <laughs> only that. Only the boat stage music. Even when we're doing Tekken Ball all the way at the beach, it has to be this song, okay? Get ready for the next battle, battle. If the Tekken profiles had be like, if the, if the Tekken profiles had like favorite OST, it's gonna be like the boat stage only. Continue. <laughs> yeah, it's not even sad. You're still you're still vibing even if you lost. <laughs> You watch that counter 10, 9, 8, and she's like, you're still dancing. Yeah, you can rave at the beach. Truly quality over quantity. The hidden forest stage of Tekken 6. Ah, yeah, I like that too. But it's over the moment I go to player one. <laughs> well, not really, but like my chances increase by like a lot. Do it. Ah, oh, that's the second late decision making again. It's still never ending from second pick. The same OST from the and the main menu. Is that... I don't remember that being the continue. Ah, the boom, pa pa pam, Boom, pa pa pam. You know that one? And it's a guitar. And there's like a acoust the acoustic guitar with it. Is that what you mean? Ah, the game selection. Okay, okay, okay. Again, the emoji's blocking the way, man. The spammable emoji on the YouTube chat. It's not helping me when I'm reading... Because I can't make that box bigger. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, that's actually, actually nice. Continue music. Woo! 
But that's player one, nothing to be happy about. <laughs> because it's supposed to be player two practice. Yeah, exactly. The one before you open the game on the PSP. Do you know that song, Rakuyo? So like when you, let's say, you, know, you pop it into the UMD or the memory stick, the game. If you pop the game into the memory stick, hey, you know how you were playing your PSP. <laughs> Again, that was like the superior way, I suppose, to like, what do you call this? Play the PSP. Because the UMDs were expensive. Very expensive. The metallic sounds? I guess so. And then you hear the acoustic guitar, right? Tan, ta, tan. No, exactly. That's why I said UMD or the memory stick. The memory stick being the superior way of doing it. Which I guess most people did. Like, most people did jailbreak their PSPs. Which made it like the ultimate portable gaming thingy. Uh, console. Or handheld. There you go. That's the way I was looking for. Surprise? Damn it. Bite. Damn, I have no HP. That's on hit! How do you wave cancel into JFSR? You basically sidestep. You sidestep either to the foreground or the background, which means pressing up or down, and then you do JFSR because you can't do a just frame skyrocket from a wave dash. You won't be allowed to do the just frame input. So you have to cancel out. So you either stop your wave dash by canceling up or down, or even canceling it by doing back, then doing a JFSR. Or just do a wave dash and then wait and then do it. You missed the PSP. It's okay, there's a PSP emulator. It can, you can come back to it. Still the best sound is the... The, three. Fight. the soul of the PS1 after a long boot up. Soul sound? Again, stupid emoji. I'm like, what word is that? Soul? Or not? The wee 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 Then dance like the ting 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 jingle. Round four. Fight. Be a fun. Oh no, I'm back on player one. Break. You saw that? Crazy. Oh, I thought it was the low. Huh. It's the highest number of wins I got. Two or three, something like that. It's gonna take a while. That's just the nature of this kind of set. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. 11 40, 40. Okay. No problem. There you go. See, it wasn't souls. Still, the best sound is the sound of the PS1 playing after a long boot up. There you go. Yeah, so it's the jingle. Ta -ting, ting, ting, ting. And then we Full thing. Again? I was counter hit? I don't remember pressing a button. Surprise? Need invite. Right. No instant while standing three there. I'm going to lose two, up forward three. Right. If I wanted to win that, I'd have to do DF1, not DF2. Oh, 
react to the silent entry transition frontier. If you're not gonna step it, at least press a button. Oh. Press a button. There's so many characters you want to play now, Nate. Eh? Don't worry, you'll have time to play all of them. Why does everyone in the whole academy have a pocket large? Oh, it's not me. I don't have a pocket large. Is he the easier Horan? He's so far from Horan. No! Ah. Uh, yeah. In 8, well, no, I won't even say like in 8. He's not. You have a Miguel? Alright, Lamau. <laughs> Because that character is more similar. I'm a pocket haver. Okay. So that means you have the whole cast in your pocket. Good evening, Eagle Man. Hello, hello. Do you want to play Eagle Man? Just let me know. I'm just practicing my player too. And I need games. And when I was in quick match earlier, bro, it was taking forever to get games. <laughs> and then I'd find someone, it's a one and done. Except the Nina. The Nina player I found. But they beat me. Well, they didn't get five straight on me, but they were like, nah, I'm beating, I'm on the same level as an Omega. Time for me to go to rank and get a shiny PNG of my own. Oh. Ouch. Because Rai is gonna be done by 11.45. So in like 15 minutes, if you're G, just let me know. Low, damn it. One first to five. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. We all have a pocket Noctis. Okay, yeah, I do have one. <laughs> that character is pretty easy to play. The ease of use. The FF1 plus two character. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's good. Why wouldn't you press it? You have a pocket Noctis too? Damn. Thank you, player one, for not helping me out in my player two practice. Fight. Yeah, just press two. Back two. Okay. I... Fair enough. I, I jabbed. Versus silent entry one plus two. Oh no, dynamic one plus two. Tech. No, that was counter hit. I saw that. I saw it with my own eyes. A down jab. After RFFD4, and I did not confirm. Fight. Oh. 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 That means when I play Eagle, then I have to swap the overlays. Because it's not first to five straight. No. Oh. You also need that two player training. Hola, bro. You gotta beat the laziness. <laughs> Basically, don't beat the mud. Alright, got you. <laughs> You started out with Fang, found it too easy. Because playing Fang feels like the character that's supposed to win or something. I mean, yeah, he's, he's very good. He's so good. He was in a good spot and then they were like, you know what? What if he was better? 
I'm like, I'd never ask that question. Because <laughs> he was the character was already good. It's just like, but what if he was better? It's like, yeah, well, let's make him better, bro. Shucks. Then you switch to Miguel and Huang. It's like, oh yeah, I can play the game. <laughs> it's not like I'm destined to win. <laughs> or something. Like he's the strongest fighter, let's put it that way. Follow the lore. So he is supposed to win. That's why it feels like that. That's my whiff punishment. Gone, that's what it is. Non-existent. Okay, so Rai has a chance to hit it to 5 straight. All you gotta do is just not lose a game. And then you'll hit the 5 straight. Because you're out 11.45. Time check right now is 11.33. Philippine time. GMT slash UTC plus 8. While standing 3! The button I am struggling to get. Okay, that could have been my round earlier. Too many errors. So the first day of player 2 practice, I struggled hard. Player Second day of player 2 practice, it was good. I just didn't have a JFSR. And now day 3, I'm struggling again. Fantastic. I'm on player 1 again. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm gonna go back to player two. Let's go. Fight. Oh, we ain't doing that back three anymore. Okay, never mind. We're still doing it back. He believing. He's believing in the low. Final round. The wall crush low. Whilst wake up while standing one? Yeah, because the muscle memory, right? For me right now, it's the decision making. My decision making is whack. It's so delayed by like a second. Or half a second. Yeah, because your muscle memory is all player one. You gotta introduce some new muscle memory by going in player two. Crazy back on. I mean, he entered silent, right? Or did he stay in dynamic? I don't even remember. Because after the rage drive, I can't press. You cannot press versus dynamic. You'll lose to dynamic. Not unless he was in dynamic. I don't know. Scroll back. I don't remember anymore. My short-term memory is very bad. <laughs> right now. Right now, it's very bad. Because it's I'm spending all the resources to like make my player 2 work. I just know that the moment transitions to silent entry, he can't, what do you call that, save himself anymore. If the opponent reacts. Oh, so today is what? Thursday. Okay. Tomorrow's Friday. That means all the anime I'm watching will air on Saturday. It's crazy how all the anime I'm watching all air out on the same day. If my player 2 JFSR was a lot more consistent, I'd be throwing it out like just exactly like my player 1. But nah. I can't because I get I get a I get a what do you call it a non-lethal skyrocket. Do you really need to try to use it when it's highly unlikely to be red or is it step when in the blah blah blah? You mean you talking about back one? In what situation specifically? Hold on, wait. I'm gonna reread that. Give me a moment to like process it, and then I'll give you an answer. In the meantime, get out of this wall. 
while I still have some HP to work with. Oh, that was a whiff punish. Un highly unlikely to be red. Like your opponent's not gonna... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. With evasive moves, for the most part, you kind of just throw them out if you want to get out of a situation. Like you're confident in that scenario, you could get out with an evasive move. That's number one. It's not really about not being red. Although you can use it for like unpredictability. Sure. So that, that's one way. So like that's two ways already. So like mainly you use it to get out in situations where you know you can get out. If you risk a back one. And then number two, yeah, as you mentioned, it's like if you want to like switch up how you're reacting on defense and like make your opponent really think about whether you're gonna do back one or not, that's a thing. And then number three, if that evasive move, you know, let's say you, you can beat a lot of options by sidestepping right. But you're not awake to sidestep right and then punish it. So it's easier for you to just press back one. It's gonna do the same thing anyway. So that's viable as well. It's the same thing with back two. Oh, okay, sidestep left beats a lot of these options. So I can just do back two instead. That way I don't have to like SSL and then one, two or whatever, four, three, right? But of course, you're missing out on the reward by doing that. Because all you're gonna. The most you're getting there is just a faster punish. If you use it for number three. Yeah, either you get away or you, you get hit. Which is basically number one and number two combined. I know I can get out. And at the same time, I'm changing up my timings on whether my opponent should check me with the move that will beat it or not. Because, let's say against Paul. It's like, are they going to do F1 plus 4 or not? Because they're, let's say if you do 4, 3 as Horang, and then you try to do F1 plus 2. I remember Paul F1 plus 4 should beat you. So it's just like, are they going to do it or not? Which will force you to do it, do it like DF4 or something like that. So that they they get hit. Even like for, let's say you're against Miguel. Back forward 1 will beat F1 plus 2 after 4-3 on hit. So you have to like really think about that. Like what option do you lock them in with? Yeah, exactly. So if it does have like the same, if it covers like the same area, you can use it. But you'll just be lacking reward, but you'll have an easier time getting out. If the priority is just simply getting out immediately rather than having reward beside it. And sometimes that's highly valuable. Like an ease of use button to get out of that situation. Uh oh. Alright, we got five minutes left. I think at most this is like two more games. Or even just one more game. Of course, if it's like deep SSR or deep SSL, then you're gonna have to add a step first. Oh, okay, last game. I died. And then it finishes in like two minutes. He's like, hmm. It's not 11.45 yet. Hmm. <laughs> I can play another game. Mm. <laughs> I booted me thing up. It wasn't booted up earlier. It's like, yes, Frontier. It was not booted up earlier. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, Mr. Eaglemans. Are you going to ESGS? To play some Tekken 8. Because I'm pretty sure participating in the Tekken 7 tournament is going to be harder. Because it's first 32 players on site. But are you going there for Tekken 8? For the free play for Tekken 8. Fight. While standing free! I need that while standing three in my life. Oh, you just... Okay. I'm gonna go in. 
gonna keep backdashing. Davis R. Uh oh. That's a DF1, not a down jab. No? Okay. It's okay, I'm not I'm not I'm not going. I don't know if that's like a consolation prize or whatever. <laughs> Bro, college to the moment. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair. Oh. Perfect. Round four. It is for you, damn. Tracks toys outside. I got caught. I'm getting killed by the big loose. Surprise? Low. Alright, GG's, man. Almost a conquest. Okay, yeah, that's fair. GG's, man. GG's. Alright, Eagle Mans. Did we need Radmin? Do you remember? <laughs> How many times have we played? A total of one. I forget if we needed Radmin or not. Because mine's on already. So baka you'll need to turn yours on or not. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just send the invite your way already. I too am a Oh, okay. <laughs> Dying, it's 9 8. Well, you have to count the score from the last lobby as well. Like, you add that total if you want the actual score, which you can just scroll back for on this stream. Now we don't. Okay, cool. I can turn it off then. And I'm gonna exit it. Hello, Twansky. Hello, Justin. Hello to the both of you. Just practicing some player two, as always. That's what the title and thumbnail of this stream is. Uh, what do you think? Huh? Lol! What do you think? <laughs> Why Huang mains are rare to appear as chance in TWT? Aren't they rare to win tournaments in general though? It's simply because the character is hard to pilot. He's difficult to maintain. The amount of things you need to compensate for to make him successful is difficult. But it is doable. The character has a lot of potential. And we already we still have like other Horangs who have been succeeding, so there's proof in the pudding. And that dates all the way back into like Tag one. So it is possible for what do you call this? The character. That was counter hit. So he's not cheap. Hold on. It context is very important in regards to like identifying uh saying wh when horang is cheap right Round two. so if you talk about beginner to intermediate level the character is sincerely 100 percent cheap if you're talking about advanced high level kind of things he's not cheap but levels where the anti horang defense is not as strong he is cheap again the frame day, he's one of the only characters in the whole cast whose frame data is at an, at, a, at an advantage pretty much all the time. So if you're not stepping or moving, or not challenging intelligently, or at least making it calculated, you're gonna lose. I lost to a Hoang in a recent tournament. Which tournament? It was a tournament recently? Fight. I thought the last one was Manila Madness. <laughs> 
There was another one. Oh, is it the the globe tournament? The weekly globe tournament. Now nah, Horang haters hate for not doing their work. <laughs> uh, that's again, that's beginner to intermediate level, isn't it? It's just like nah, there are haters at high level too. Okay, but they still know how to like kind of like deal with the character. You know, despite the complaints. What? Oh, it was on Manila Madness? Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to use it. Well, not necessarily. Oh, hold on. Not necessarily brain power. Like, if you operate on pure instinct, that could work too. So it's just like identifying like how you do it as a player. Or like, how do you do it, right? It's just that you have to remember the tracking is not as the best. Your punishment isn't like amazing. It's okay. It's alright. It's actually decent. FF2. Surprise? That's it. It's not, right? They nerfed it. They nerfed it. Minus five damage on that throw. <laughs> Alright, this is first to five, one zero. I remember someone before DM me. <laughs> That's why I don't add people on Steam. <laughs> when it's like a, a complete stranger. No, wait a minute, but Justin, you play Lily, right? You'll be fine. Eventually, the Hoang matchup is like, I can avoid a lot of things. Just one sidestep, even if it's towards the wrong side. It's like, I still avoided something. <laughs> more more Horang winners in tournaments? Maybe. I just want to win a tournament in 7 first. I'd hate it like my first win comes in Tekken 8. Well, I won't necessarily hate it, but I'll be like, damn, it took forever to get one tournament win. Literally have zero tournament wins. Air raid! Air raid! Alright. Hit him with an air raid. Fight. Woo! Spacing! Wait, Manila Madness? Which, how many Horangs were there in Manila Madness? Including myself. I believe there were like three. Oh, no, 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 no. There were four. Four Horangs in Manila Madness. Because I know another guy who got eliminated by a Horang, and I know which Horang that was. like a mid-level horror and they're like damn it i already went to another player's stream we talked about what i'm supposed to do against horang and then i played that horang and then they did none of it <laughs> i'm like man that sucks when you you lab something and they didn't do any of that well, that's good for you at least you don't get to like meet that side of the crowd At the start, I got some, and then eventually it just never happened anymore. <laughs> they don't even bother. Well, at least towards me. I have no idea if it's happening behind closed doors. Probably is. But I don't get any direct ones anymore, for the most part. It's wild, like I would get it in Tag 2 online. And my horn was ass there. Bawal pala neutral done. Yes! You for the last hit, you mean. Yeah, you can't neutral guard it. You gotta stand block it. If you don't stand block it, you give the horn uh, a minimum 80 plus damage combo. Basically, you die. <laughs> 
pinitawan ko yung back. No! <laughs> It's one all, right? Yeah, one all. One all. Short. Oh. KO. Round two. Fight. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw the. I saw the ad. Like if you play in cheese dojang, I'll add you. Like usually, I don't move my friends list as much anymore. Oh. Are you gonna keep doing it? That's right, I went straight for a frame trap immediately. Too obvious with the plus frames. Baguio. Oh, that's the Defiant crew, right? Like, they're the ones who are mainly in Baguio. Like, a good number of them. So that means you met Raiden. The Claudio, the, the, the Claudio player. Oh, okay. Northern Cross will deny that. Interesting. I'm dead. I died just like that. Hey, where's my... <laughs> where's my minus 10 punish? Okay, that's a weak combo. But whatever, we rock it. Air raid. Air raid. Do you have one three? Yeah, offense is still not a problem for player two. I, I gathered that like during the first day. It's really the decision making. And of course, JFSR and defense. And a Steve player as well. Who's a Steve? Ah, Mr. Fox. Are they both Defiant members? If they are both Defiant members, then yeah. The Steve is probably Mr. Fox. No! I missed it! Damn it! 2-1. Bats and Baguio as well? I mean, they have like how many members anyway, right? 60 plus members. The big team. 2-1 in favor of Eagle Mans. Actually, Justin, if you're... Oh, wait, no, wait. Hold on. Are you still in Baguio? Because <laughs> I was about to say, if you're G to play, I can play you right now. But it's, I'm going to be playing on player two. Is that right? What do you mean? That there are bat members in Baguio? I mean, there's a lot of you... Do you know all 60 plus members in your team? Hey, that moment? Which moment? Round one. Fight. The one where you died. Well, I can't control that. <laughs> I die, I die. That's all it is. Okay. I think cross? I'm good. Oh, it was unfortunate. That's Tekken. Yep, the match and yeah, it's, that's Tekken. It do be, it do be. Oh, clean. Man, you still got something out of that? Salvaging it. Good stuff. Right. Other calls? Another FF2? You know that QCB3 is supposed to be a wall standing 3? <laughs> so I didn't really mean to get go for the grab. 
It's like classic. It's like I wanted to go for back three, but I ended up with QCB3. That's still my wish list. They move this grab to down back one plus three. Because they move down back one plus three to up forward one plus two. Like, if you're gonna move that grab, please move the other grab. Thank you. That way, I don't make an error on back three ever again. It's impossible to get an error. You have two? Nah, it don't work that way. Nah, don't. My JFSR doesn't exist. Oh, wait a minute, that's unsafe. I even threw out a 10 frame. Come on, come on, Tekken, work with me here. Do it. Didn't buy. Surprise? FF2. Yep. I'm still alive. Which means there's a chance. I'm gonna gamble. Oh, you let me live. Three. Three, one. Yeah, down four is a long low. Sometimes you're not gonna get the punish off it. But lucky for me, I have a second hit on the kick, so they can't really rush the punish. It's like Jin. My I was playing against him in Tekken 8. Every time a Jin threw out while standing 4-4, I keep getting hit by the second hit. Because I'm like, right, you have a second hit now. I'm not used to it. <laughs> and I go back in Tekken 7. Alright, duck the second hit of while standing 4-4. Oh right, it doesn't exist. What am I doing? I'm giving up frames for like fuzzying. Or even committing to a duck right after while standing for. Yeah, the muscle memory doesn't transfer over. Get mixed. Round one. No, I'm not gonna be at ESGS. Have fun though, have fun at G ESGS. Most especially with uh, Tekken 8 free play. Since there will be Tekken 8 units. Don't worry about it. Oops. I'll probably do one or two more sets after this, and then I'm good. So it's three, three, one. Round two. Fight. Surprise! Okay, you didn't bite it. I thought I could be like Steve. Steve Fox. Aha! Woo! Okay. Whiff. Well, I was right. I'm just too far. 14. Shotgun launched. Grab. Yay. My Pila. Do you want to fight my player too, Horang? You're going to kill me really fast. But I'm, I'm down. I just need player to practice. And so I told Rai too, you could kill my Horan really, really fast. Because I'm not on player one. Oopsie. KO. If you're down, just let me know. Round four. Fight. Press. 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 I'm so obsessed with that. That was a bad idea. But the first is three long. Okay. I mean, if you want to go long, I don't mind long. Ah, okay. Before I slept. Okay. Three, two. 
in still in favor of Eagle Man. 3 2, 3 2. Okay, I feel like I've been playing better now. Which means it's starting to look like yesterday's player 2 gameplay. Man, but that took a while. I spent like an hour ish. Or actually, two hours. Kind of get back into it. It's okay, slowly but surely. That's the whole point of training. It's never pretty when you're training. Three two, three two. Round one. I'm talking me cool, me cool, Use the law. <laughs> Feel free to use whatever, man. Immediate. Okay, fine. I was trying to catch a whiff there, but man, the three plus four just hit you. So lucky that time. Do it. Show me your negative 10 string on block. That's right, that's my Brian 3 plus 4. Sort of. I tried with punishing three plus four. Bad idea. That one I went all in again. Oh my goodness, not FF2. Your resplat, beautiful damage. Woo, 14. I forced it. There you go. Three all? Yeah, and this is first to five. Three all, three all. So three more games maximum, two more games minimum. Oh yeah, Twanski, by the way. Radmin, don't forget it. Because <laughs> right, we need Radmin. So make sure that's on. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. That way we have a smoother connection. For as long as you haven't left the network yet. All you gotta do is just click the big button. And then she's like, okay, we good. Really? Interesting. Wanski, you've learned something new about your law. Your admin's ons, all right. I'll just turn my on after this set. My man's got it. I died by the taunt. Free damage. 
mean, for as long as the taunt goes in, of course. Ooh, 14 again. Plus one. Negative two, zero, plus one? Right, something like that. For air raid. And like which kick you end on. Ooh, didn't splat. Thank you. Rage art. I should have just back three. <laughs> I that that round I almost lost that one. Because I up back three three. Would have been the same story if he did while standing two three and taking eight. Should have just back three. Oh no, DF two. Because rage arts are negative fifteen and eight. Okay. So I'm just I'm just not gonna get launched for those things then. You're telling me I should have just continued with RFF back too? Fight. Diamond? No, I have not. Why? What is it? Three, four? Now in my favor. Yeah, no, I think that's the first time I'm hearing it. I have no idea what that is. I'll be honest, the first thing I thought of is that it sounds like an insult. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. I don't know why it came across as an insult to me. Probably the second word. And I'm like, huh. You called them a nice thing and then a bad thing all at the same time. Huh. Okay. I was like, are you praising me or are you insulting me? <laughs> if it is, I don't know if it is. Until I pop it into Google. And she's like, what does this mean? Oh, yeah, this is this. Okay. Fight. No punish from me. It's fine, though. That's not fine. Counter hit. Whoa. That can set. I did not throw attack. Whoa. No, oh, I was on hit. Round two. Did I just predict? I, I just kind of like called it out. And it's not really when my opponent's using uh, when my opponent's using RA. It's just that in that situation, it makes sense for the opponent to RA because Horang can lose most of the time if he just RA. DF4 we trust. DF4 we trust. DF4 we trust. DF4 we trust. Round four. Fight. I'm fine. 
Oh. Wait a minute. How did I lose the last one? I'm still plus nine there. Ah, that one. Yeah, basically another gaming lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've seen that one. So that's what the place is called. Okay. I mean, I'll drop by when I want to. My man's execution. Damn. For all. For all, for all. It's like GGG. I haven't dropped by a GGG yet. It's like when I want to, I'll go there. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Yeah, the execution. He was flexing it. <laughs> it's like, look at this cool combo. I mean, the only way to practice your execution is to do it in real matches, aside from like practicing it in practice mode. Oh, we're not gonna. Okay. How do I lose that? I'm plus nine. You mean I'm supposed to DF4? I'm gonna go back to like lab that for a second. Right after this set. And then if I find out I'm not supposed to lose, I'm gonna blame it online. It do be. Another moment where a Horang thing was denied because of online. How many orbitals are you gonna get on point when it matters the most? Uh oh. Sidewall saves lives though. Oh my goodness, what is this combo video? Cheese. Round three. Fight. Spacing. Okay. Damn, that's a legit, legit one. I was holding back. I didn't press a single button. All right. All right, GG's, man. That was sick. All right, hold on. Twansky, let me just lab a little thing first, and then I'll be back on match. It's going to be really fast anyway. I just need to see if I was supposed to lose there for real. For real, for real. If I wasn't supposed to, then damn, online. Good games, man. Good games. Malakas ang Brian Moser. Baby, baby, strong Brian. Uh, what was it again? Okay. And I'm supposed to get hit. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to get hit by the last chop. So block the second one. I'm supposed to... <laughs> okay, again, get hit, get hit. Bah! My DF2, yeah, that back one. That back one did you dirty. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to get my Radmin again. Radmin. Nahinan. Well, for how that set played, it was good. Or at least that's what I think.
Check the VOD. Nah, bro, it's online. <laughs> no. I'll blame it on online. It's all online's fault. I didn't delay it. No. I disagree. So this one's first to three, right? Yeah, five bars. It's the same thing when I throw out LFS, what do you call it? When I do LFS 3-4 into RFS DF4, I remember when I fought an Armor King before, they would mash down 1-4 and I was losing. I was like, that can't be. I'm already mashing it. Then I find out it's because it's online. No, yeah, 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 you did pretty well. Same standing with Leo. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Round one. But the Leo one, I got to play player one. But F2, sige. And then the next player, pa F2 one po. <laughs> He's gotta get lower and lower. And eventually, first to zero. You don't even play the game. Craziest first to first to something. Naglo na nga. Yes. It's practicing for that Tekken 8 in the SGS. Right, I can't chicken your parry. Why'd I bother? Ooh. Well, frame launcher. All right, much thanks for dropping by, Ego man. Good games, good games. KO. Round three. Yeah, this is a different law. Then again, the first law I fought, I think, is like you were still starting out. Oh, okay, you put me a player one. My more comfortable side. But yay, get the practice player two again. Again? Oh, fine. There you go. Now I'm back to player two. Slide. That's right, I predicted a slide. The wall standing two came out. Ooh. Hit me? Finally! I've never launched punish that move in my life. Finally launched punished it. Of course, right, 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 right. When would you ever do that? Plus one. Plus uno. Numero uno. So, O oh, one. Oh, okay, yeah. For, for Juka, I should just keep my Radmin on. Just in case. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Yeah, okay. My player 2 is getting better again. Good. It just took a while to sh shake off something. Or like adjust to something. Good sign, good sign. And then next week, two days to practice player two, and then Grand Blue Fantasy Rising Beta. Open beta. Round one. 
fight. <laughs> Talk came now. Oh, okay, no problem. It's all good. Good night. Good night. KO. Round two. Fight. Good challenge. Magic Force, I don't have to deal with you no more in Tekken 8. <laughs> oh, I didn't duck that. Great follow-up. Surprise! Never mind, I'm the one who gets surprised. Both had the same idea to press a magic four. Yes, yeah, the only sequence where I've been like throwing JFSR out at all in player two. I'm dead. Is that reach? Okay. I would have been surprised if it was like short by like a pixel. Then it's like a doobie. Round four. Fight. Oh, okay, I'm practicing. I'm on player one then. Oh my goodness, that's so far. Legend kick. Hello. KO. Final round. Fight. I'm practicing not player one. No parry. Oh, you're telling me I should actually shoot it, sorry. One all. Now, because I was thinking since LFS up forward 4 hit first, you're not going to gamble on the low the next time. So I could get a down 3-4 mix-up, but nah. So I read it wrong. Oh, okay. I was thinking of like doing a different low, but a low parried. Yeah, I mean, if I get hit by the slide, yeah. Yeah, so the, the counter to that is just play player one, right? That way when you get hit by the slide, you're in player two. One all, one all. Yeah, but okay. KO Round two Fight. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, what? Whoa. I'm still alive. Nah, God. So you really looking then? Really looking at the low gang, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. I was so far. I'm dead. There are definitely clear adjustments I should do because that second game was a blowout. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Yeah, two one, two one. But I'm. Um, Goodness, I didn't go for FF3 though. Because you got up immediately. Okay. I was about to say I don't have to worry about 3 plus 4, 4, and then you just threw it out. You mean Raven, Noctis, and Raiden from Metal Gear Revengeance? That character? <laughs> well, those are my thoughts. That's what I think the character is upon first glance. I mean, he's got three weapons. He's got a gun, he's got a knife, and a big-ass sword. I mean, he's alright. I don't have anything really. I'm not like overly impressed nor am I like disappointed. I'm just like, okay. I mean, he has a parry, so you have to watch out for that. The guys can shoot, he can shoot his gun. 
I just hope he doesn't get an actual projectile. Like the gun's only for like a follow-up, like Nina's. It's not its own independent move where they can like just keep pressing it. I mean, some other people have said that here. KFC boy, basically. Round Set point to all. Fight. All right, that's wrong. Man, no fear. You still are back turn. I win. Would have been surprised if I didn't. they did I'll watch it later then I mean if that's the character that's coming out if sources are true right round He's telling me if I did the B and B I would have won. Okay. GG's Which means if I chose the right combo, I would have won it. Compromised it by not doing the right combo. Probably do one last set. Good games, man. Good games. One last set and I'm done. Oh, it's a 2D character. Don't hit them. They're gonna get their their meter. <laughs> not that I'm fighting against nonless nuns. It's just a just a CPU. Felt good. She's like, yeah. It's not gun. Excuse me. Yeah, there's that meter gain. What oh, is taking a while to get the one, huh? Well, I mean, you're gonna be going back to law for eight. While gun is missing in action.
Okay, I don't know if this player is going to rematch, but we'll see. And then they're a smurf. They can really move. Oh, no. Uh, last set, last set. The movement will tell me everything. Oh, that looks like a player who kind of knows what they're doing. Sort of. Yeah, they definitely know what they're doing. Yeah, much thanks for dropping by, man. Good night, good night. Oops. Back three. Big low. I finally parried that. The only thing I'm usually parrying is the one plus two. They stay for the five games, then yeah, I'm, I'm done after this set. If they don't, well, I'm gonna have to go for another one. Depending on how far my mental can take it. Because sometimes when I tell myself I'm gonna do a last one already, my mind starts setting it up already. Okay, we're gonna do the last one already. So the mental stamina starts to drain faster already. How many times did I say already in a sentence? Three, like three or four times? Crazy. For as long as I don't say it's last games, like my stamina is like always there, for the most part. Not until it like gets drained to the fullest. But the moment I say last games, it's just like, okay, we're gonna start allocating. Oh, and I have a fresh wind count. Okay, nice. I don't have to do any of the math. Still went for the bit option, huh? The nerfed red tape. That's nah, two. Oh, I only saw that comment now. My bad, Justin. Based on the BTS video, behind the scenes video, it looks like he'll play a big role in the story mode. That means Raven's heavily involved in story mode then? In the lore? Well, then I guess, yeah, they they, they confirmed. Uh, Raven confirmed Hayahachi's death in Tekken 5. Well, quote unquote confirmed. Round one. Huh, interesting. Okay. Fight. Basically, everyone now has an involvement in the Mishima saga. That's what they did. It's like, oh, they're not involved? All right, we'll make them involved. Instead of characters doing their own thing, you're all part of the Mishima saga. Fastest way to solve it. Oh, 
Oh, they're patient. Okay. Well, they just like me for real, for real. No blue sparks. And B, yeah, they know what they're doing. This ain't a first dan then. I couldn't even do B and B combos when I was a first dan. I literally made a simple combo instead. I'm like, okay, this is the combo I'll always do, because I, I can't copy the other combo. That means they'll probably stay until I finish, which is good. Because I kind of want to eat like a snack, like right now. Should have just four threed. It's okay. In Tekken 8, I can do 2 forward 3 and it'll deal the most damage out of all my punishers. Oh well, out of all the 10 frame punishers rather. I were to guess like their rank, if ever they had a rank, they must be around orange, yellow or orange ranks. That's my bet on like what shiny PNG they acquired. I haven't seen. Well, okay, hold on. I can't say I haven't seen punishment because I haven't been doing anything that's really unsafe. Okay. If I want to confirm it, let's just see if they know if something's are uh, negative ten. Fight. Oh, never mind. They got hit. So with this win, I'll also hit 800 wins in quick match. Cool. So I'll be 200 away from 1,000. Again. Yeah, yellow to orange. I'm confident in my guess.
Oh, they remember down back too. Alright, GG's. And I'm done. I'm done for this stream. Oh, did I game? No, okay. Game's fine. The game's... Oh! Oh! Okay, no, it's fine. Are we good? I am much thanks to all those who dropped by and or stayed the whole way. That's all the cheese I have for this stream. Again, I've been Frontier. Was that you? Were you playing me? Good games. If that was also you, was my guess right? On what shiny PNG you have probably acquired? It's like, no, you were not playing me. That was someone else. I don't play Lydia. Someone else plays Lydia. Oh, there you go. Cheese Dojang Sheep. But yeah, nonetheless, again, much thanks to all those who dropped by and they stayed the whole way. Yeah, and I've been Frontier. And thank you for watching. So that someone will play Kirito. Both players in Critical Who gets it with the world? Oh, I'm expecting all the trump cards. Exto Mag. This guy. What, what a guy. That's very important. Now, of course, if you've been following the Geekbooky Fighting Climax Ignition, there is a mobile port that has been released. Then get key book of fighting climax. Uh, uh, crossing void. Crossing void. Yes, yeah, crossing void. It's a very good mobile game crossing featuring void. all the characters and even new ones like Alice. Yeah. yeah. Will he blast? It's he oh, did, he blasts. But he gets punished by it. Oh, there you go. He had the me 